I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric from Farpoint Farms. Today, we're taking a look at this. This is a Retrievus radio. This is the RT40B. It is a FRS radio, and it does do 2 watts. So some channels are 0.5, some are 2 watts. But let's go ahead and open it up and take it out. There's not a ton to this. This is just your basic FRS radio, but, you know, Retrievus makes a pretty decent one, so it comes with some features you'll like. For instance, lake removable batteries, right? We can rechargeable, but if the battery pack goes bad, you can replace that, which I ran into an issue with another radio, uh, or, sorry, another radio that I was reviewing and I kept it here on the farm and the battery pack went bad just couldn't get your hands on them they were nowhere to be found but with Retrievus or Retivus or whatever you want to call it uh, you know the company's been around forever so you can definitely get that over here on the side we do have USB direct charging and a mic slash audio out which is kind of cool but it does come with the stand here I can get it out of the box which I prefer you know charging stands like that and that has its USB charging as well. And it comes with this nice setup here where you got your little belt clip and does have USB charging cable and a USB charging plug. <laughs> and then it has a wrist holder. So give me a second, I'll hook it all up and we will uh, do a little audio and range test with it. I'll walk down and take care of the chickens, get the mail, and we'll see how well this thing performs. All right. There it all is set up. I've got it on the charger. You can see it's charging. Got a nice little belt buckle clip there. And as far as the operation of this thing, it's pretty simplistic. On off. And instead of having a digital display, it's verbal readout. So change the channel up here. Push to talk. And then these two buttons are function buttons. I'll show you what they do here in the manual. It comes with this nice detailed description. So. SK1 function, right? We press and hold SK1, and we go into monitor, so squelch turns off. Long press gives us an alert like an alarm system. We don't, you know, if you want to alert people, hey, I'm lost. If we press once, we get a battery indicator, and if we long press it, it starts to scan through the channels, which is really cool. So it has a scan function, which is something you don't find on a lot of uh, FRS or GMRS radios. So very cool. The manual itself is not all that long, but it's not all that much to talk about. It talks about some basic safety rules. And once again, goes through what all the buttons do. It does have Vox operation. Comes with what comes with it. Troubleshooting. And it gives us some of the specs. So frequency range 462 to 467.125. 2 watts or 0.5, depending. 22 channels working voltage, 12 hour of work time, that's really nice, and you know, lithium ion batteries, so pretty cool. There's our frequencies as programmed. Now you can't program this radio to any other frequency, at least not with the equipment I have, because those all use a slightly different plug than this one comes with, so I think what you get is what you got. And that's it. Nice. All right, well, I'll tell you what, i got to go down and take care of the chickens today and go check the mail. So let's go ahead and we'll turn one of them on, we'll leave it outside, and I'll take a walk. There we go. How about that? All right, let's take a walk. All right, we're about 20 feet out. You probably can hear me in the background still, but we're going to take a walk down, <clears throat> take a look at the critters. It is actually like 55 degrees, which is really nice for this time of year. And... Uh, all right, we're about 50 feet out, and this is a really lightweight unit. In fact, it's a little small for my hands, but, um, you know, for, for kids and family use, this is perfect. You throw this in a kid's backpack and let them loose, you know, go to an amusement park or something like that. It's perfect for keeping in touch where you wouldn't want to have your cell phone on you because it might get wet or damaged or lost or whatever. I've reviewed a lot of these FRS radios over the years, GMRS radios over the years, they usually come in one of two flavors. They either work right right out of the box, or they don't work at all. And with uh, Retrievus, I've never had a bad product from them. I've really been happy. I've worked with these guys for about three or four years now, and I don't think they've ever sent me anything that I felt like just wasn't worth putting up on, on the channel. So I, I, I think that's a good sign. 
All right, we're about 150, 175 feet out now, and we're headed down towards the chicken coop. Funny story about Retrieve is actually is we're about 250 feet away now. Uh, a company my wife works for, they used, um, oh, let's see, what were they? Yesu, I think it was, walkie-talkies for, uh, no, Motorola. It was Motorola. And these things were two or $300 a piece for uh, business band radios. And they needed to have one program, and the programming for it, you had to buy a special cable and special software. You couldn't use Chirp on it. So they got kind of frustrated, and they asked me for my opinion. And we ended up getting them a uh, 10-pack of Retrievist radios that I could program in, you know, 30 minutes that, uh, that they were able to use for the same cost as a single Motorola radio. And, you know, we're talking eight months later, six months later, I think it is now, and they're still doing fine, so... It's amazing, you know, quality and value, what you can get if you shop around and look for the right radio at the right price. All right, we're about 600 feet down, coming up on the chick. Let's see if we get the birdies out here on tape. Oh, I hear them making noise. Ooh. They've been eating scraps out here. Come on, kids, what do you got? So I've got something getting into the bird cages at night. It looks like a possum has decided free food is right up his alley, so going to have to deal with that. Anyway, we're heading on down. The total trip here will be about 1,400, 1,500 feet to the gate. Let's keep our walk going. They're down about 800 feet. We're also down about a 30-foot drop here from where the other radio is. So a lot of times that, that distance straight down can uh, affect how well this thing puts out and how well it works. But hopefully it's working well. Coming up on the spring box here, about 1,000 feet. And, uh, you know, I've been meaning to make a video on this thing. Maybe this will be the year I finally get around to it, talking about how we get our water here on the property. We don't have a well. Water just comes out of the side of the mountain. And we tap that water and put it in a large cistern, and that's what we drink and do all our laundry and cooking and cleaning and everything else out of. And it's beautiful, fresh water. No filtration needed. The mountain does that for us. All right. Down about 1,200 feet now, getting towards the gate and towards the end of this little... <laughs> this little review of the Retrievus uh, RB40B, I think this one is. And it's a, a great little small handheld. We're actually going to be using this, taking a trip, and we're going to use this on the trip here very shortly. So I'm looking forward to it. And that's it. That'll do it. We're all the way down. Anyway, that'll wrap it up. My name's Eric. This is Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks to Retrievus for sending this my way. If you like the video, perhaps you'll think about liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Take care.